everybody and welcome. Uh, first of all, I'm just starting off with justice. I turned in one bounty and I got myself a nice little exotic bounty. So unfortunately, I do not know exactly what they do, but I'm about to look it up and I'll see you guys in here in a second. Alright, and I am back. So, uh, the first one, a light in the dark. This gives you the thorn exotic handgun, which does lingering damage over time. Uh, very useful. It was believed nerfed because of one of the updates because of multiplayer it actually affecting other people I'm pretty sure they got rid of that I've been wanting to get that weapon for a while so the next one is the Tolent's legacy what this does give you is the bat juju which is an exotic pulse rifle I'm not so much of a fan of pulse rifles but I've heard the exotic juju is really good um, probably not gonna go for this one actually and then there's I believe a dubious task a dubious task gives you an exotic shotgun I believe it's called the infective the infective is a beautiful shotgun if you don't already know what it is but I'm more of a hand cannon person so I'm gonna have to go with thorn because I've been wanting this weapon for some time so first of all uh, you get the exotic bounty up in the top right uh, light in the dark now this is going to tell you what to do over time so right now complete the summoning pit strike on the moon easy as that that's actually really easy to do so I'll probably jump to that and uh, work on my way but uh, stick, hang in there guys, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I want to say one thing real quick. Um, all right, so I completed the summoning of the pits. I'm back on the moon to complete the second part. This is what shows up after you complete the first part. It says harvest the energies of hive on the moon to activate the weapon. Uh, this weapon seems dead but hungry. The lingering energies of the hive you've recently defeated seep into the weapon. Perhaps it could be further empowered. So pretty much saying that this weapon needs to be powered by hive, which you kill hive to get power for the weapon. Pretty basic. Okay, right when I said that, that's fine. Well, I'm gonna come over here. Five out of 500, so I killed five. That is going to take some time. But there is a couple ways of killing a lot of hive at once. Actually, I can show you guys really quick. Uh, first of all, you go to the orbit. Once you're there, there's actually a mission that you do when you open up the gate doors for the first time. What happens is you kill all these hive members. It's right at the end. You kill all these hive members, and I mean that's that's like what you do. It's not nothing really special. So I would recommend maybe doing a couple missions over again if you could go to the tower and get another bounty activated, so you can do multiple things at once. But uh, I'll definitely I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna have it completed, but in the meantime, but.
final part of the exotic bounty. It's like the hardest thing. All right, you're alive. We're all right here. Good. Now we gotta shoot this wizard, wherever he is. Oh no, I'm getting shot by everything. He's right up on top. He's right up on top. Get him! Get him! Get him! Shoot! Just shoot, shoot him! Yes! Yes! He's done. I found the unborn. Um. Well. Now we can kill. Oh crap! It doesn't matter if we finish now, but if we finish, well, you guys probably get some loot. So. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, this is. Yeah. 